Chad is here from DA Davidson, and we're talking this week's stock market news. So let's start off with yesterday. It sounds like it was higher. So uh, what was it that drove the markets? That's right, Victoria. The Dow Jones closed up yesterday 124 points at 28,859, and the NASDAQ and the S&P were also higher. We did have the nervousness, of course, about the coronavirus, which drove airline stock and consumer stocks a little bit lower yesterday and concerns mm -hmm. that that may affect profits. But despite that, the market still went higher. And what is it that investors can expect today? Well, the markets are showing lower on the futures this morning. Uh, we do have the coronavirus news that continues to come out, and that's affecting the markets. So that, and then out of Europe this morning, we had some a uh, little bit disappointing economic news. So due to that, we do see the futures down a little bit this morning, Victoria. All right. And last, I want to talk about a strategy that you have for our viewers for once they reach a certain age where they have to do the required minimum distribution um, from their retirement accounts. Tell us about that. That's exactly right. Well, the first thing is, as the first of the year, the age in which you be, have to take that required minimum distribution from a retirement account has increased. It was age 70 and a half for many, many years, and they just increased that to age 72. Okay. So any of our viewers that turn age 70 and a half after the first of this year, mm -hmm. they now qualify to not have to take it until age 72. Now, the other thing is, because of the tax reform over the last couple of years, many retirees are now taking the standard deduction rather than itemizing. And so for those that are over uh, age 72 now mm -hmm. and taking the required minimum distribution, and they're taking a standard deduction, but they give to charity, they may not be deducting those charitable contributions. And so a strategy is what's called the qualified charitable distribution from your IRA or your retirement account. You can give that directly to charity, okay. and then that's not recorded as taxable income. Okay. So that can be a big advantage. And again, I'm not here to offer tax advice, but for our viewers that are in that category, they're taking a required minimum distribution. Maybe they give some money to their church or to some other charities. Mm -hmm. Rather than give that money and then not use it as an itemized deduction, right. they may want to consider just giving it directly from their retirement account so that they mm -hmm. don't have to pay taxable income on that when they, when they take it. All right. Well, Chad, thank you so much for being here with us today. We appreciate it. Always a pleasure. We'll be right back after this break.